All right. Cloister time. Let's do this. You gonna be a so. Pokemon master? You're gonna grab both of these. I'm not gonna be. No, not not in this game. Put both of these suckers in here, since that's the only thing we can do. Move, thank you. <laughs> this is such a pointless room. I know, it really is. I guess it's just for like, for, it's for show, I guess. I like the other one in uh, the, the Ifrit one because it shows you the mechanic of, you put the sphere in, it burns away the door, but then you have to remove the sphere to get the, the net to go away. Right. The, the burning remains. See, at least that kind of teaches you something. This is just to put two spheres in the door and it opens. Yeah. It doesn't teach you any mechanics or anything. All right. Um, let's see. I think first thing we got to do is we're going to get rid of that and we're going to shove these in here. Gotta get we're that gonna door get, open. Gonna get this going, yeah. I'm assuming you All need right. a lift sphere or something to get that thing open. Probably. No, no. Alright. What does this do? Gives you... A... Oh, you know, you yeah, we gotta push this. Under. Yeah, we gotta push it in. Put? Now, okay, now I want you to push. There you go. <laughs> Alright. And then zappy. And now that one's charged. Now does it? Well, I guess it's still a Jose sphere. Um, Maybe you can open the door with that one. Maybe you don't need a glyph one. Maybe prob you just pop that probably. Back in. Yeah, there you go. That's doing something. Uh, okay, so we obviously can't go across here yet. Um, that will push the pedestal back. So, let us, uh, let's take these. I'm gonna, because I only have one arm. Yeah, God forbid you hold one in the other hand. Well, then they'd have to make the puzzles twice as hard. Or Speaking twice of puzzles, as annoying. The Witness. I want to talk about that game in a little bit. Alright, so we're gonna shove this thing back to the middle. Aha! And then, I think, uh, was it like a shove it? Yeah, you shove it into the pit. I shove it into the pit. Ha ha! Shove! <laughs> Random bullshit! Now we can walk across? Yep. No, not yet. Oh, no, oh, we, oh sorry. Sorry, we do that. <laughs> right. How could I forget? All right. Gonna shove that in there, so that opens up the eyeball. Eyeball. So we don't need to come back in here now. No, that's, that's activated. All we, that's all you needed to do. Yep. So we're gonna bring the pedestal back, and now we have a pedestal. All right. I think. Uh, Let's say this line right here. God, it's like the wit. It's like the witness took the mechanics from the cloister trials. You follow the wire back. That is, that is that the brings worst up the place wing. to take something from. You're gonna take inspiration from something. Don't take it from the cloister <laughs> trials. Don't ever do that. G give me the. Give me. Isn't there a downstairs underneath this, or am I thinking of something else? It's a, it's an upstairs, I believe. I, I remember there's like a whole uh, set. Yeah, there's another room, floor. Though. God, the witness, love that game. I'm having so much fun with that game, even though it's like the most frustrating thing. Oh my god, it's so fun. It's always fun seeing you have a mental breakdown on stream. It's uh, I just, <laughs> but it's so satisfying when you finally figure it out. That's what I live for. All right, so this will complete the picture. Yeah. That lights yeah, yeah, everything yeah. up. And now it should be an elevator. You made a creepy eye monster. The pedestal just disappears. Send me on up. Moving on up. Moving on up. Okay. 
So now we can't forget about the destruction sphere. I think, Cannot... this, one was, I think this one was really stupidly easy too. I think it, I think. Oh, well, I mean, I guess we we can't really do anything with this. I think we just gotta shove. Yeah. We just gotta shove them all in. Because there's nothing else we can do with them, and we can't yank them back out. So I think it's just shove them all in. So let's do that. He does not shove able to pull them out. on in. That one looks like it went on diagonal. <laughs> it probably did. It's probably a bug they couldn't fix, so they're just like, just have to carry, just move the camera so the character model blocks it. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be fine. All right. So this opens Nobody up likes the these door. Parts anyways. Is that the exit? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think we gotta go back down because that's like a supercharger thingy. Right, so that thing's disabled. Is it... Can't touch that. If I yank uh, this out, is that? Oh no no no! Do nothing. Do I? Okay, well this is where something is. It's probably right? your destruction sphere. Yeah, this is the destruction sphere. Gimme, so gimme. You have to find a hole to stick it in. Yeah. Uh, where did Bud Light? Go back up. <laughs> All right, I think we. I, I think I mean we're just gonna take it up. We're gonna put it in this, and then we're gonna have it get zapped by the thing, right? Like I think that's. No, going. yeah. I think oh no, it just happens. Just blows oh. up the wall. All right, sweet. I remember this one being kind of easy. There we go. All right, we're done. I think it's the ice one in the Makalania one that was pretty. The ice to one's a son out. of a gun. Yeah. Like, it's not too bad to beat it and leave, but if you want the destruction sphere and the, to fully complete it, yeah, it's, it's, like, twice as much work. Yeah, it's a lot of running around. All right, there's probably about 18,000 cutscenes here, so... In a Final Fantasy game? Well, well, you again. Still traveling with quite the crowd, I see. What is it, Bartello? You know this riffraff? You are... Are it. No. What of it? Can I shake your hand? Arin. No. Sir Arin. You're the reason I became a guardian. <laughs> Thank you, sir. This means so much to me. Calling the personal guardian the Lord Braska Riprap? And you call yourself a summoner? Yeesh. Bartello, enough. Get back here. Hang in there, buddy. Eh? Okay, so this is like, like exposition up the butt. So I'm just gonna let all these cutscenes go. Stop pacing around. Oh, I should talk to Lulu. You gotta oh, unlock whoops. the extra Lulu rotation yeah. scenes. Now we wait. Lulu, best wife. Now we wait. Quite the show, yeah. The only one yep. I can remember off the top of my head is her flirting with her in, um, Guado Salam. Man, that was quick. So, in, the, in and out, two minutes. You get better at it. To your father. All these guardians. And Sir Oren, too? And I hear Maester Seymour is quite taken with you. The world must look different when you're the daughter of Lord Braska. This has nothing to do with my father. I am traveling on my own as a full fledged summoner. Oh, is that so? Then try standing on your own two legs for once. Your guardians won't be able to protect you when the time comes. You only have one person. You know, what is he gonna do? Like, maybe you should try closing your one. <laughs> he's your got two legs <laughs> conked oh, out. I can't look and at he's her. just gonna. You're gonna be screwed immediately. Why would you not want to have more people with you? What are you, an idiot? 
You always want more people with you. Sky move, I want the you, chest. There we go. <laughs> you should give me that. You should just offer to give her Kamari. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, you can you have, have him. You don't have very many. It's like, here, I'll... you don't have very many, and I've got too many, so here, take Kamari. I'll give them to you. <laughs> All right, let's save. Oh, was that a book? Did I just see a book? Book. Uh, yes, I do want to save over this data. Don't lie. Let's see. Nope, that was just the box. Okay. Lulu. No matter how dark the night. And yep. Journey. Yep. Great. Good talk. Um, I think I got all the other chests in here. Yep. There it yeah, is. So you got the the switch hitter. Yep. Okay, we're leaving once Yuna gets here. I love um, Orin's uh, posse he collects in this area. Yeah. The little monkey rat things. What the, the hell is Yuna? Little squirrel things. Is just she like in all here? Over him usually. When you first get in here, like just a gaggle of them just yeah, they just him, like, sprint all the around. Way. All right, where the hell is Yuna? Oi, sleepyhead, get the hell up! Oh, the damn monkeys! <laughs> <laughs> get out of the way, you. Dawn. Yeah, that's Land great. We gotta go. Sending the fallen. Okay. I guess I'll just girl that ain't my problem sleep for now then oh convenient you're up let's go ah. <laughs> this is violently shit I guess I'll just let her what? sleep morning. for now I will just let her sleep but it's morning <sighs> I'm so sorry she just sleeps I'll in that right away. I mean I Come guess she passed out so that's okay we have to get oh. Don't worry. <laughs> it's okay. I have to kneel in front of various things before I can go anywhere. That's how, that's what girls be like. Ooh, Always kneeling in front of all their stuff before they can get sorry. ready. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Really, there's no rush here. Your hair. <laughs> A summoner <laughs> with bad hair. What's the world coming to? You could have woken me up. Well, Waka, we don't all get up at <laughs> six in the morning to style our hair. Well, that's... He uses that big, like, point part to keep, like, his pointy Everyone's hat from collapsing. <laughs> and he puts on his pointy hood to go hunt down Albed. That's what holds it up. Great shot of Waka there, his chin. <laughs> you too, Sir Orin? Once Lady Yuna fixes her hair, we leave. <laughs> Destroyed. I really laugh like that in a long time. It was only Even that monkey's that mocking her. <laughs> the only one really laughing then was me. Laughing must have been the only thing keeping them going. No, everyone else was laughing. I don't know if you heard. <laughs> Pretty much everyone else was laughing. Yeah, we don't save. All right, I think there is a fight with Belgamine coming up. But first, give me your stuff. Give me, give me your stuff. This, yes. you uh, stuff. Sweet, a weapon for a person you're never gonna use because they suck. Yeah. Have to yep. go, Chocobos. Always welcome here. Give me your stuff. Good. <laughs> Let's talky more itemy. You. You got any more stuff? I think I already took your stuff, but if you have more stuff, I'll take it. Thank you. <laughs> eh, potion X10, I'm not gonna use it. Off so early? Lady Yuna, you must be exhausted after working so hard last night. Will you be okay? <laughs> I feel that I have rested enough, but thank you for your kindness. Will you be leaving too? Yes. First we cross the moon flow, and then we head north in search of chocobos to replace those we have lost. Once we find chocobos, our mounted forces will ride again. Huh? Aren't you missing someone? Captain! Wait for me! What took you so long? We're leaving. <sighs> you expect me to keep up with a chocobo? Lady Yuna, 
I wish you good fortune. Elma, Clasco, let's go. Ma'am. Hey. Ma'am. Clasco should just like tie a bunch of those no monkeys complaints. together, and get himself a sled. <laughs> All right, so we're heading to Moonflow after another cutscene. Where to next? We cross the Moonflow. Gotcha. Moonflow, baby, here we come. All right, calm down. It's not that exciting. Exciting. All right, Belgamine time. Along with some various items. You. Up. What? Right. No <laughs> items? Oh. Jesus. That's such a... It's a big difference in enemies. Like, little dog, giant plant monster. <laughs> <laughs> I get to fight very, very big Ochoos. difference. Don't poison. Damn it. Alright, well, we're just gonna get you out here for Lulu anyway. So, so the Witness. Like I've been playing the Witness. I'm only halfway done. I was, I was talking with, um, with Dan last night. And we were just like, we were just talking about some games. And I went to check how many hours I had on The Witness. I have 16 hours in that game. I'm not even halfway done. 16 hours. I thought I had nine hours tops. I got like had more. Is just destroying me right now, and I love it so much. Do yourself a favor and check out The Witness if you like puzzle games. It's literally just, there's only one type of puzzle it's you drawing a line to the exit, whatever the exit might, wherever the exit might be. But how you draw there is dictated by certain mechanics in the game. So if there's certain symbols on the board, then you gotta do it this way. If there's a different symbol, you gotta do it another way. If you have never looked at anything The Witness at all, and you're considering playing it, just do yourself a favor and play it immediately. Just, it's, it's not a game with a lot of replayability, obviously. Although, I mean, I guess you could replay it after like a year or something like that. You forget all the puzzles. Um, it's pretty easy, I guess, to forget some of the puzzles. But, oh man, it, I have been having so much fun with that game. So much fun with the game. It's insane. It's frustrating, but it's insanely fun. Um... You guys have not played Firewatch yet, correct? No. No, I have looked into it though. Yeah. yeah I like walking like simulators or certain story driven walking simulators, so but. Ready. And it sounds like this one's got a little more to it than Dear Esther or Gone Home. Right. Yeah, I just. I'm just not into those kind of games, really. Like, I, I kind of know what I'd be getting out of it. Let's summon an Aeon. Uh, you. You're pretty good for this. Um, I pretty much, like, I, I get that it's, like, kind of like a point-and-click story-driven game. I'm just not into those. I've been hearing good things. Well, a lot of but... those are not even... It's basically you just walk around and the story happens around you. Right. Yeah. It's basically just a vehicle for telling a story. And depending... If it's a good story and it's really well told, those can be pretty good. Because they're not usually very long experiences. Like, I think Witness right. is like three or four hours or three hours. Like, Gone Home, I think, was two. Because you were basically just wandering through a big house. and that's Right, it. yeah, I know that game was like super short. I should probably heal myself. Wait, Witness is not three hours. Yeah, did you say The Witness? Oh, I, I meant uh, Firewatch, sorry. Okay, yeah. Alright, I'm going to die. Please don't kill me on this one. Please don't your kill overdrive. me. Oh, damn you. No, I'm immune. Okay, good. Uh, I could, but I want to save it. Or, what Aeon does she summon? Do you remember? Is it Ifrit? Probably Ixion. I would say it's probably Ixion. She always summons the uh, the newest one. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's... Uh, I'm going to have to hit a away. save sphere. Well, yeah. Just dismiss him. Unless, I don't remember if you lose your overdrive if he dies. Um, I'm I pretty it, sure you do. Yeah, so you may want to just get him yeah, the hell out of there. Yeah, ditch him. Because Belgamine will heal your Aeons. Right. Before the fight starts. But... Oh, that's true. Good call, dude. Um, yeah, let's... Yeah, because she, she always heals you, so if any of your Aeons are, like, just completely KO'd, they all get 
brought back to life, but yeah. Right. You're, you're gonna lose your overdrive because of that. You don't want to do that. No. Oh boy. Oh, you good silence, have, poison, you, and everything. It, you can learn that from. Oh no, it's Malboro as you learn. Yeah, that's the. Yeah. I was gonna say get Kamari to do his thing, but All right. we are running into a little bit of trouble here. Hopefully, Lulu doesn't get killed. Hit Orin. Hit Orin. Okay. He's got dark on him. Um, yeah, no, these these enemies suck. <laughs> do I have anything? I don't want to use a remedy. Eye drops. There you go. I guess that uses my turn though. It does. So it's just. <laughs> All right, whack this. All Can right. you bring Titus in? There we go. We're good. Oh, We're good. No. He's uh, Kamari's actually really good right now because he has the fire stick and he's weak to fire. All right, let's heal up. Or no, we'll uh, we'll fight you first. Good day, everyone. That's not Belgamine though. Oh, <laughs> right. It's not. <laughs> I'm stupid. Do we really need that? <laughs> Is that necessary? Alright, Yuna. Let's do some healing. You, you, and you, and yourself, and we're good. Yeah. Um I I, I just I don't play any of those those games. That kid is very confused. I just don't play any of those games too much. Just I don't know. Not not a huge interest in them. I've played a few, like, narrative-driven games, things like, um, Until Dawn, or I played Heavy Rain a long, long time ago, but... I, I watched know, Achievement Hunter Firewatch. play Until Dawn, and that was a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, was, I watched oh, an LP of Until Dawn, and, like, halfway through it, I was like, damn it, I kind of wish I'd played this game myself. But, yeah, yeah one, just, if you watch somebody play through it once, then you're, you're kind of good, because it's not, it's not something you can replay. He Heavy Rain right. is the same way. Well, I mean, I've you can re David Kaje fucking. You can David replay. Um... I know. I, I, <laughs> I watch Super Best Friends, so I'm used to mispronouncing his name purposely. Um, you can you can replay until dawn to like get the other endings, but I I get what you're saying. All right, let's see what these. Assholes yeah, but then to, you're so. just kind of wanting to see. It's just a little bit different. Heavy Rain's kind of the same way, where it's not like him. a drastically different what? game if you change your choices. Yeah. Both follow summoners on all fours. Hornless goatlings. Hornless! Hornless! <laughs> you come to insult Kimari? Wrong. We come to warn little Kimari. Summoners disappear. Never return. Next will be Kimari's summoner. Poor Kimari lost his horn. Next lose his summoner. Pitiful Kimari, howl alone, howl alone. <laughs> Do those two uh, got something against you? What? They were just picking on you? Kimari will deal with them. And I'll help. Kimari alone. But... Uh... It's Kimari's problem. We can't interfere. It's a rule. I'm worried. Let the Ronso deal with Ronso problems, yeah? That's how it's always been. I mean, I'm worried about those summoners disappearing. They aren't just disappearing into thin air. Hey, if we guardians do our job, no problem, right? Oh. Confident. Yeah. Why? 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 What is the purpose of stealing away people who are basically trying to save the entire world? I don't know. Why? Why would you do that? Maybe you we're trying to save secretly. you, and you guys are being assholes. I don't get it. Do not get it. Fire. Uh, Waka. Go, go, go! Have you ever yeah. played any of the David Cage games, Dado? Like uh, Rain, 
Dark no. Blanks are they very good? I mean. I just. No, it, he's <laughs> he's not a very good writer. He seems to think he is, but I just don't have huge like interest on. in in those kind of games. You know, like I I haven't played a lot of like really high profile games. You know, just because like like Skyrim. I never played Skyrim, um, but I had never really been involved with the with that franchise at all in the first place. So, you That's know, the best place to start. Yeah, but it's just like I now I have you know a little bit of time to play, but I've just My turn. like I I know the the what, the kind of experience I'm probably gonna get out of it. You know, like I already have seen so much gameplay. It's like yeah, okay. I, I know what's what's gonna be coming out of this and well, I just was never involved in that franchise enough because I didn't get into PC gaming until Probably like two three years ago simply because I just didn't have a computer good enough to actually run anything you know and Like college constantly broke the most I ever had was like a laptop that the college gave to me and that was, nice that was it, you know God, all these guys are getting status nonsense. He'd use a Suna. Have you had a Suna for Yuna? <laughs> I, I made it funny. Good, good one. She, she's <laughs> silenced anyway. She can't even do it. Well, fuck me, man. <laughs> you um, You need to start buying some, uh, some items. I've never had to buy items, but like now it's being super annoying because so no, I'm actually yeah, fighting it's stuff. It's always good to have a stockpile of status cures. Can we, can, okay, she can summon. She can summon you, you wind can silence, waste, that's good. Uh, Ixion, because you won't be using Ixion anyways. That's true. Because you, you won't be allowed to summon it. So but, don't I only get one one Aeon? I don't remember. I think you can call in Valifor as well. Oh, let's... You, I just know oh, you can't use got. Ixion, because Ixion will be used up. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's close to Overdrive, so we can, we can get him. Yeah. Give me this chest. Yeah. Uh, you, should, you should give Skyrim or one of the Fallouts, maybe Fallout 4 a try. Did you ever pick up Fallout 4? I, I have Fallout 4. I only got through, like, the very beginning of the game. But I played, you know, I, I played uh, Fallout 3. I played oh, okay. some of the DLC. I played New Vegas. I really liked New Vegas. And I was just not in a hurry to go get Fallout 4 just because I knew it was like, okay, it's gonna be a very similar experience yeah. as well, to then, those yeah, other maybe, games. Maybe try Skyrim then instead, because it's a little different. I mean, the Fallouts, I mean, it's another Bethesda game, so I mean, the Fallouts were designed off, off of the way that they do the Elder Scrolls games. Right. But, oh, uh, sweet. Even though you've seen a ton of stuff in Skyrim, there's so much in there that there's still gonna be a lot yeah. of stuff that you just find randomly. That it's like, no, oh, I know. what is this? And I can I can appreciate that it's, that it's a very very good game. I um, drowned myself in I just in it, uh, Bethesda games, so I didn't even play Skyrim that much. I put maybe a hundred hours in it, and that's it. Yeah, it's just there's so many games I even want to play now that I haven't been able to get to. Plus other games that like, you know, like Mass Effect was a game that was a franchise that came when I was in college. Uh, oh, good, that did damage. Um, and I just, I just didn't have any time. The, the last two years of college for me were just so, so, so insanely busy that I never had a chance to, you know, actually do anything or play any games besides like World of Warcraft. Um, and even then, I didn't get to play as as much. So I just, I just missed those time frames for those games, and so that's why I'm trying to like make up time now. You know, playing stuff like The Witness. Just because, like, oh, loving that game. But there's so many other games I want to hit, too. And it's just just not enough hours. Even like, people want me to play Rainbow Six Siege with them. Um, I, I like, would honestly, if you're going to try and blitz through some stuff now, especially with Destiny being in, like, a big lull, I would try and maybe blitz through some, you know, more story-driven, like, single-player type things. Right. And stuff like The Witness that you can just blast through. I mean, if you get into something like Siege, where you're just playing multiplayer, then it's just, you know, not wasting hours, but you'll drop, like, 100 hours into it, and it's just going to be the same thing throughout that 100 hours. Right. It might be fun, but 
which is why, like, I've been so apprehensive to buy a lot of those games. Like, a lot of them are playing, uh, a lot of people playing Black Ops right now, because of yeah. the new zombie map. And I just, like, you know, I, I don't know what the longevity of those games is going to be in the clan, you know. Most of the games that I'd be interested in, in playing are, like, Training, ones huh? that the clan is playing, you know. So, but a map, Rayma map 6. Map be a good one for you to try and blitz through. Get right. Aspect 1, 2, and 3. Neither, none of them are particularly long, and they are very good. I think 1, one may end up being the longest out of all of them, just because mm -hmm. they just hadn't quite fine-tuned it. It's yeah. also the worst out of the three. Not that it's a bad game. If yeah. you want a story-based game, I'd really recommend just playing one of the Telltale games. It's only like, what, an hour or two hours per episode. You can do yeah. it like once a day. Yeah, I know about that. Ah, I didn't want to bring on him. Um, I feel, oh, I feel like they kind of blew now. their hand, Telltale, because they, for a while, when like Walking Dead came out, they could do no wrong, and then all of a sudden they're putting out like five different series all at once. Yeah, and it's people like, got yeah, very worried about that. Not that solid. <laughs> this is too many. Oh, how did you not die? Yeah, honestly, Walking Dead was really good. Yeah, but Walking Dead, Wolf Among Us, and things. the Borderlands one. Those were really the only three. The rest of them are kind of iffy. Yeah. No, like, that's always been, like, because, you know, we, the clan played Hardline for, like a you week. know. No, no, yeah, no, I'd say no, a couple we weeks. And so at least a good we, month, we enjoyed our time with it a lot. But, uh, just, like, you know, I, I get what you're saying. It's like once once the the people stop playing it, it's like all right, probably not gonna play this too it, much. There's basically, I feel like there's two types of games. There's a game like The Witness or something you play by yourself or like co-op that has a story that it's just a length of time. Like you will play this game for five hours, ten hours, twenty hours. A game like this that once you get to the end of, you're done with it and you put it aside, and you kind of get. You get the same thing out of it you'd get out of a story or a book or something like that. And then there's games that are multiplayer games where it's just the same thing all the time and it's just fun. You're basically right. trading your time for fun. Let's let's bookmark this. On the next episode, we're going to fight uh, Belgamine. How's that? We're actually, but... I'm actually ending these episodes instead of just randomly cutting out. It's, it's weird. It's weird to me. All right. See you next time.